It is officially time for our final Group C lap times. Let's do this for our practice. And we're going to be heading out for this. It's going to be only night time as well. If it does afternoon session, that is already late night time as well. It should be going to be held at day. For uh, literally first time. And because of this only night strategy. That you see the slumbering moon about to only for this size. Now it looks like we're going to be absolutely entering throughout the day. And we just absolutely made things a little bit pretty early as much. We're just using for a high definition. That we're starting against even very late. And because tomorrow will be exactly how it is. So I'm about to first start with the Mazda 787B. Before Mercedes GT1 as well. So it looks like we're going to be using for our Group C. Let's use our Mazda 787B first. Before, for this, even for absolutely for this morning. So it looks like this guy must be deserved for the sunset as well. Because of this, what absolutely mean? We'll be taking on. And for our oversteers as well. And it looks like, there you go. Let's do this in our app for this time as well. And make sure that we're going to be taken out for a cool down for this one as well. And this side of the onboard here inside the Mazda 787 is going to be good for the car. But this is going to be a little bit hard. And very hard it is. It's not very hard. It's going to be a little bit intimidating. So it's going to be taken for all the way for this one. In fact, now that BC cars are extremely low, about hard for this one. about 4200 miles an hour and blasting all the way to gear number 5 and to take this only one advantage to hit 230 miles an hour and that should be it 235 miles an hour and that sounds more likely faster than the, the LMP1 cars as well so if this is absolutely necessary that we're heading down into 120 miles an hour because due to something a little bit right now I must take him for a little bit for a serious advantage. Now we're going to be taking all the way to its one strategy. Take down the second gear and throttle again. Blast it all over to 100 miles an hour. And we're going to be taking around for this only one step. We're taking around for the outside before the inside take route. Now it looks like that must be the sunset overall. And it looks like hit down for the gear second. This is an anti-oversteer gonna be waiting for it. it looks like we're gonna be taking a little bit more left and here we go so it looks like we're gonna be about to here we go in about for this one moment without gonna be over steering for this very too much it looks like our first couple of turns it's gonna be a little bit easy is gonna be taking for it that was gonna be intimidating for going by using a group C cars was gonna be intimidating for using some other kinds of vehicles even if it's not going to be working around here, let me just use about for the third gear. And back to second, about for one decade that we're going to be reached. Five seconds behind, in about decades about the sunset. It looks like I might going to be can't see throughout this day. And because tomorrow, we'll be going to be doing for our lap times and how the day. Let's do for under two minutes as well. And because of going into this one, will be absolutely to take all over to this one by 220 miles an hour and we're just going to be start letting go of the throttle and taking for this a little bit advantage now looks like we're going to be taking 150 board but looks like we're just taking for just a little bit much i can see the sunset that we will absolutely be deserved now looks like we're going to be absolutely taking for about the outside lane head down into the inside hit the apex and getting onto the third gear and blast all the way to shift down into this one thing so it looks like hit down to second now and blast it all over again if this is not absolutely really perfect it's absolutely closed for the lap times as well we start breaking into the third gear but I don't know how that we're going to be a few more laps to go 
It looks like, as you can see, the sun sets overall. The lights has turned automatic on. As well, as we're going to be finishing out for 1 minute and 54 seconds. 1 minute and 54.4, we have reached it about for a level 74. And tomorrow, it will be, should be held at day in about lap times in a few decades. And looks like that I say that I must head back into the garage literally right now. But I'm never able to see around for these players as well. Because they do something that are going to be doing something for various tomorrow. And other players must be joined the game for instantly. And early in today's morning that we're going to be next to do is we're going to be using for super lap inside of this thing. By using the Mercedes Benz for just only one thing. And that must be the Sauber Mercedes C11. And we're going to be doing like this one. And But meanwhile, this is one of the most fastest race cars. The most fastest lap time Group C car ever that i never seen this before. If I'm just going to be using for this a little bit for its very first time. Which means its reducements of the horsepower is the V8 engine as well. And because of this is absolutely taking for a little bit intimidating as well. How hard it is because of the sun rays just rise up into the front. And because of this unbeautiful sunrise as well. And my taking it a little bit seriously. And what to do that we're going to be doing whatever it is. It is we're going to be staying down as here the current lap is absolutely pretty for this 1 minute and 46 seconds in a way from this other one opponent rival as well as we're putting into a stop and halting into this only one opportunity so in terms of gear 4 but absolutely the Mazda 787B reaches up to 213 miles per hour faster than a Porsche 919 hybrid it was absolutely taken for a little bit of pretty slow like this one. And the Group C class was absolutely reaching up to over 230 miles an hour. So all you have to do is going to be staying all the way down here. It, which is absolutely taking around for this intimidating race. And about for only one I guess. If this is absolutely to take necessary, we'll be taking around for it's some kind of just a little bit taking for a little bit once. Now it's going to be taking for a great idea to take it only one. Before we're going to be making on to the strategy, we'll make it for a complete stop until the tires just cool down. So if it's absolutely going to be taking for a little bit perfect, now it looks like we're just going to be taking off for the second gear into third gear. Now I might never able to see about for this moment. If I just started to forget about something while on cornerings, that's what might causing me in trouble. So because due to it's something for its one sense, we have to take the one penalty at this one in the final corner. So it looks like we're about for using in about one decade in about 176 to 177 miles per hour. And it looks like we just absolutely made two corner cuts one time. And I think we just started to get a little bit intimidating as well using about for the gear three to get up into this moment. Which means in the name of the fastest most likely potentially for a need for a very faster lap times is pretty possible and because of this one sense it will be taking for about for this strategy this instant racing lap time is 0 0.8 seconds behind of the Mazda 787B it looks like we're going to be taking for just a little bit for one top of this one and looks like to blast all the way up into 230 miles per hour and how this is absolutely going to be taking all the way to gear number 5 to reach over 7000 RPM. The most fastest thing in Le Mans is the, for the Sauber Mercedes C11 as well. 233 miles per hour faster than a Porsche 919 hybrid as well. And because of this is absolutely to take it all the way for a one down and we have left to go. So it looks like we just absolutely to take all the way down until it's third gear and it's 0 0.6 seconds behind onto the second sector. So it looks like we just made on to the second gear and made all the blasts like these things as well. And because of this one, it should be going to be absolutely to take all the way around for this rear and it's going to be taking for a various amount of lap times. And this is around that last corner that should might be able to get for a huge amount of corner cuts as well. 
and because due to bad luck against one as well one minute and 51.5 and that was absolutely for just going to be using only one thing the current lap time is one minute and 51.512 and that is going to be the world's most fastest lap is the Mercedes for Sauber Mercedes C11 and we're going to be moving into the last one you would think this has got to be so overpowered by using the Jaguar XJR9 and this should be not the powerful Group C car that I ever tried to see in here before and this has got to be a little bit overpowered as the V12 engine it's got to be a little bit very powerful but overshot to start the race and against this one is absolutely taken for very serious this has got to be so serious of this once again and because of this only one thing will be taking around the fastest laps with the Jaguar XJR9 and made a huge corner cut with this man oh my gosh this is now absolutely pretty intimidating it's gonna be so intimidating by using for this one I recommend that we're gonna be using for this for entirely in one decade for overall in for some kind of a little bit of terms by using for this vehicle so absolutely taking for this very slower Almost going to give myself a huge corner cut, 1 minute and 3 seconds and behind of the course. And looks like we just absolutely disabled for the mouse steer. And we just cannot able to do like this one as before we're going to be hitting out for a 230 miles per hour. And it's not going to be taking for all over to this one by reaching for over 200 miles per hour. That was very slow than I ever expected. But the most fastest lap times won't be able to get really serious is this gonna be very serious enough 238 miles per hour and that is gonna be taking for a various crazy serious like these things and because of this man absolutely to take all the way for around for this one and this is not gonna be very so kind at always and this should be gonna be blasted all the way for the gear 4 in terms of fastest lap times as well let's cool down that before we're going to be end of this video and move on to streets of Toronto so before we're going to be complete onto the strategy I make sure this is not going to be taking very serious one as well if this is not very possible we'll be taking around for the third gear and because of that one is absolutely taking for a very much harder than I ever think if this Jaguar XJR9 has been qualified to do for just only one let me just use for the second gear and blast all the way to third gear and it looks like we just made for just a little bit 314.7 312 seconds which is absolutely to do like this for us never gonna be doing for as once now we're gonna be taking for a little bit second I think we just made for a major mistake about the third gear as well and because of this is actually gonna be taking for a fourth gear making for a barrier slow and hit that barrier sign as well and because of this one sign I'm not gonna be telling you how that the track violation was a bad sign for me I think this is not absolutely for a bad sign 0.6 seconds at the front of us and because of this absolutely I might be able to get overshot now looks like we're just blasting all the way to its perfect lap times even for this way so it looks like we're absolutely hitting around for the gear number 5 and because of this one is going to be absolutely to take around for a 236 miles per hour and to blast all the way to out for its 238 miles per hour to 239 miles an hour as well and it looks like we just made things a little bit fast 0.2 seconds in front of us looks like we need to get things a little bit quicker because more than I never expected that we're going to be using for a gear 3 and taking for this outside to inside we're not taking for this a little bit strategy back into gear 2nd we're taking on for the most fastest lap this is going to be taking a little bit slow now looks like we're going to be down into 2nd gear so make sure this is going to be taking a little bit fast without corner cutting as well so it looks like we're just going to be using for about for second gear to blast all the way into something like it else. So last time is 52 seconds, point 0.129. Is this should be a good intimidating lap times? 
and I'm pretty sure this is a good super lap. And that was an absolutely pretty such as a very good idea. And we have to end of this video. So if you enjoy about for our final group C lap times is officially complete. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and click that bell. And the last time in couple of professional videos, final group five lap times has been complete. The final GT1 LM cars has been complete also and because due to its hard situation and the intimidating one was absolutely pretty way more insane likely a little bit good as well and because of this is absolutely to take it all the way for it's one second ahead from the Sabre Mercedes C11 the winner is the Mercedes Sabre for just a little bit for once and that should be the Sabre Mercedes C11 is the winner and that was absolutely even more faster than the Jaguar XJR9 that I currently drive for this one vehicle so that is the end of the video that we're absolutely want to expect for this one day so if you enjoy or thought about this thanks for watching and which will be Turbo Concept signing off and I'll talk to you guys until our next video that I'm gonna be see you in the streets of Toronto over and out